In this video, we're going to be discussing the mute clip. The mute clip is our isolation clip and we use these to soundproof rooms. They can be attached to your walls or to the ceilings. We'll go through how these can be installed and how they will actually soundproof your room. We'll also look at how it compares to other isolation clips out on the market and finish up by looking at a few frequently asked questions. So let's kick things off by seeing how a mute clip can be attached to your wall. You take your mute clip and with the silicon side, you press it into the stud or the brickwork. Once these have been fixed in place, you will have a horizontal row, and these are then able to take your new channel. The channel and the clips together create a soundproofing framework, which is going to support the new layer of plasterboard that you put on. So if we have a look here, we have a section of stud work. So this is your wall. On one side, we've got your neighbors, and on the other side, we've got your mute clip framework with the plasterboard attached. So you might be thinking, okay, but how does this actually soundproof my wall? Well, as you can see, by using the mute clip, we have reduced the points of contact between your existing structure, your neighbors, and your new soundproofing partition. This is really important because what we are doing is decoupling your new partition. By decoupling, we're reducing the points at which vibrations, sound vibrations, can travel from your neighbor's side, through the wall, into the clip, and out the other side. You can see that if we were to simply attach the acoustic plasterboard directly to your wall, the vibrations can travel this entire length, but by using the isolation clips, instead they can only travel through at a few points. To add to that, our mute clip has dual density silicone that can resist a wider range of vibrations. So once we have the mute clip system in place, we also have this extra cavity space, there's more air space, and we need that of course to decouple it, but you have to be careful with air spaces when it comes to soundproofing. If you don't treat them properly, you'll open yourself up to something called the drum effect. The drum effect is when sound vibrations get into a space, but then become trapped. They reverb around in there, and this actually amplifies the noise. So effectively, what you end up with is your wall turning into a little speaker. To avoid this, what we do is fill the cavity with acoustic grade mineral wool. Once this has been done, you're actually looking at our gold system here, and we'll show you some lab data on the screen, but our gold system has been shown to reduce up to 17 decibels of noise on a stud frame. But there's no point in me just telling you that it reduces 17 decibels. Let's hear what that actually sounds like. You can hear the difference a mute clip system is able to make on your wall. But how does this compare to other isolation clips that are out on the market? Now, you may have come across in your research isolation clips that require two points of fixing instead of just the one, like our mute clip here. So what we're going to do now is take an imaginary bedroom wall. It's 2.4 metres high by 3.6 metres across. And we'll look at the installation guide we provide for the mute clip and the installation guide provided by a market competitor. You can see on screen that the dual fixing isolation clip has installation instructions for a vertical arrangement. In contrast, you can see that the installation guide for the mute clip is a little different. Instead of only using half of the studs to support all of the weight, we've created a diamond formation. This spreads the load more evenly across all of the studs. Now, before we install any clips, we need to mark out where each fixing will go. For the mute clip, you will only need one horizontal line per row, which can be marked out with a chalk line. For a dual fixing clip, one line will not be enough. You'll need to create two perfectly parallel lines, one for the top fixing and one for the bottom. You may notice that we will now need to ensure each clip is fixed perfectly vertical. If one fixing point is off center, your row will no longer match up and the channel can't be fitted. The common selling point for the dual fixing clip is that the system is slimmer. While this is true, we believe this could lead to the drum effect. Our channel is fitted with a two centimeter gap between it and the wall. We've designed the system in this way to provide space to snugly fit acoustic mineral wool behind the channels. However, a system which sits closer to a brick wall doesn't allow sufficient space to tuck mineral wool behind. While this may sound inconsequential, on our 2.4 by 3.6 metre bedroom wall, it actually accumulates to over 17% of untreated space. That's over 1.5 metres squared left vulnerable to the drum effect, which is even bigger than this panel. 
So while you might logically assume that a clip with twice the amount of wall fixings would result in half the amount of isolation clips, you'd be wrong. When we compared a leading competitor to the new clip on our imaginary wall, we found that 20 dual fixing clips were required and 23 mute clips. So although an additional three mute clips were needed, our system actually resulted in less surface area making contact with the wall as the dual fixing clips were three times larger than our mute clips. And as we know, reducing surface area is key for decoupling. Now, something you probably all want to know about is the cost. That's probably why you're watching the video in the first place. So on this imaginary bedroom wall, we compared the cost of our mute clip system to that of the leading competitor and found that the dual fixing isolation clips ended up costing 52% more than our mute clip at the time of recording. Something else that we'd like to mention, and you might have noticed throughout the video, is that we don't just have one design of mute clip, we in fact have a small range. So this is our standard mute clip, you want to use this on your wall and on most ceilings. However, some ceilings require additional treatment and we've got the right clip for you. So here we have the mute clip MP, which is used for metal frame ceilings. Here we have the mute clip LP, which is a low profile mute clip to give you as much head room as possible. And on the end, we have the mute clip XP, which allows for pipe work or to even up uneven joists. If you want to find out anything else about our range of mute clips, you can head over to our website at acoustic.co.uk.